Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's review we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron trilogy, Free Pack, Optimus Prime and the Battle Masters, of which are of course Sheldron and Enerax. You can see here that as per tradition it would appear with some of these Netflix figures, these are just direct repaints of already pre-existing releases, however to my surprise are actually really nice looking repaints. Setting Optimus Prime here out to the side and focusing here on his accessories first, we'll bring in Sheldron for a closer look. You can see here, I think the detailing has come out really nicely on this particular release. He is just a direct repaint to that of the previously released Sound Barrier, a figure of which I was a huge fan of, so to get him here in this really awesome translucent yellow plastic definitely makes me incredibly happy, but you can see that they are literally the exact same sculpt, just with the differences in terms of the colour variation. Shieldron here has been cast in a very translucent orange plastic, at least here for the torso and the head, and he has some silver paint apps there in order to pick out some of the sharp details of the sculpt. The arms and the legs are cast in yellow plastic, so they are not the same translucent that you will get with the torso and this entire back section and just to show you how he looks on the back very large backpack however that was something that we got on the original release in terms of articulation we have ball joints here at the arms very stiff and incredibly tight ball joints as well so it's great to see that there are no QC issues on this figure whatsoever and the legs here can also kick forwards and backwards as well as hinge out to the sides in terms of transformation it's very simple to do you just want to peg those together take the arms here and snap those into place and then take this piece and then just snap the feet in. You can see that there we have Shieldron fully transformed up into his shield mode, ready for Optimus Prime to take into battle. And you can see that the detailing on this piece here, I think looks awesome. I really do love these figures that have the translucent plastic over the top of them. I think it makes them look incredibly Cybertronian and realistic. And I really cannot wait to see if we get more of these down the line. Bringing in here, Enerax. This is actually a battle master of which I never picked up. So unfortunately I won't have a comparison for this particular segment, but you can see that similarly to Shieldron, he is just a repaint of a previously released Battle Master and takes on the exact same colour scheme in the yellow plastic as well as the yellow translucent plastic. We do have, however, some really nice silver paint in order to pick out the eyes as well as this entire crest section. And I think that the detailing for such a small piece has come out really nicely. You can see there the wings. I mean, there we've got the feet and then the little tail. I think that it's a really awesome looking figure. Transformation for him is very simplistic. You just want to fold the feet up, come here now to the back, pull the handle section down, take this section, collapse that down. And then with this, you can see two slots here and here that these tiny little tabs are actually going to peg into. So you're just going to want to I'll line those up appropriately and they will snap into place. And there we have Enerax fully transformed up into this really awesome Energon Axe for Optimus Prime once again to take into battle. If I had any complaints with this set, it would be the fact that I really wish that they had included blast effects with this particular release, something of which we saw included on the Netflix Megatron. However, nonetheless, I still think that these are really nice inclusions. And just to give you a comparison between the both of them in their alt modes, definitely very awesome looking pieces and accessories that I'll gladly display with my Optimus Prime figure. And so taking a look here at Optimus Prime himself, if this figure does appear familiar to you, that is because this is just a direct repaint to that of the leader class Optimus Prime. However, this time packaged as a Voyager class without any of the additional trailer components. And of course, this time with the Battle Masters. Something of which I was really surprised to see in the announcement was that they actually chose to go with the Earthrise form as opposed to the Siege form. It does appear as if though Hasbro are jumping the gun with this particular release, as when we do eventually get round to the actual Earthrise Netflix series, I'll be rather intrigued to see which Optimus Prime they actually choose to use for that line as really they should have saved this for the future releases but nonetheless I think that the paintwork on this figure has come out really nice. This was a figure that I was not really all that looking forward to however I can confirm that it's definitely a super nice looking repaint. You can see that this time around in order to actually match his Netflix appearance they have opted to go with a slightly green hue for the tint of his windows which in my opinion is a lot more accurate to what we saw in the Seed show and it would stand to reason that Optimus in Earthrise would have a very similar green hue to his windows so that's that's awesome to see that same green plastic is also used here for the front headlights. I love the silver paint applications. You can see that they have all been applied incredibly precisely with no paint bleeds whatsoever. On this particular release, they have painted the rims here silver at the front, which was something that was absent on the original leader class Earthrise Prime. And you can see here that the back ones too are also painted really nicely, as so is the gas canisters. He is exactly the same mold, so there really isn't anything different in terms of his structure. He is literally just a direct repaint, but for sure, definitely a 
really nice and welcome addition to the collection. He does roll really nicely as well, which is awesome to see. And for a comparison, here I have the actual leader class version. In my own personal opinion, I do still prefer this one as I am a fan of the vibrant colour. However, in the Netflix show, Optimus Prime does have a slightly more duller colour scheme than compared to what we got here with this release. So once again, I definitely do believe that this here is animation accurate, or should I say anime accurate, to what we see on screen. Whereas this one here is probably a more traditional looking G1 Optimus Prime, which is giving you a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see that they are literally exactly the same in terms of their mould. I'm a massive fan here of the silver, as stated previously, on the front hubcap, as opposed to the grey plastic that we got on the original release. And just comparing here the back, once again, I do prefer the blue paint here that we have for the trailer hitch, than as opposed to the grey plastic that we had here for the leader class. Something that is worth noting is that unlike some of the promotional images that we did get of this figure, there is no battle damage on these smokestacks. So that is definitely something that they have decided to scrap. And in my opinion, I'm all for it as of course the Earthrise line does appear to be going in a route which completely scraps the battle damage and I do think that the figures look a lot better without it but just giving you another side by side comparison you can see that exactly the same mold however this time completely different colour schemes if I just remove Prime's gun once again this is the exact same mold however in my opinion is a lot nicer looking due to it actually being moulded in a complete black solid plastic unlike the original version which was moulded in a grey plastic which had paint applications applied over the top this made this piece here incredibly incredibly easy to chip especially where this entire region was concerned and you can see that we have these really ugly tabs sticking out the sides and there for the handle I think that having cast this in a completely black plastic really does amplify its look and in my opinion it looks so much nicer and it actually feels more substantial as well being cast in a black plastic as with this one I'm not entirely sure as to what it was but it did definitely feel rather flaky and definitely not as high grade as what we got here with this so that is the comparisons out of the way let's get into the transformation and so now very quickly going over the transformation it is once again incredibly enjoyable as personally I do believe this to be one of the best mainline Optimus Prime figures that we have ever gotten so to begin with you're of course going to want to collapse the gas canisters in and then just come to these sections here and pull those out there on both sides of course repeat the same process here on the opposite side and then just wriggle the arms out there and rotate those off as well we can then come to this entire section loosen all of this up and then proceed to actually collapse the front section of the cab into place, collapse this section there over the top, come to the back section, lift this up. I do apologize if I am merely just skimming through the transformation it is because I have already reviewed this figure three times now with this particular review and then just collapse this section there down, snap the torso into place, come to these pieces here and just fold those out, rotate the waist around and then we can untab this section, bring the legs all the way down rotate this around something worth noting is that this piece here stays on a lot better than what we got on the original version so it's great to see that they have actually tightened the tolerances on this particular rendition but you can see tabs here that are of course going to peg into these sections to so just snap those nice and securely come here to the legs split those fold out optimus prime's toes come here to the knee pads fold these sections down come here and solidify that into place open the forearms up and then just pull out optimus's hands and of course Repeat the same process here for the opposite side. And with all that being done, here we have our Netflix Optimus Prime fully transformed up. And in my opinion, not looking too bad whatsoever. As stated previously, this was definitely a repaint that I wasn't necessarily all that enthusiastic to. However, I am pleasantly surprised to say that this figure has actually exceeded my expectations. Just giving you a very quick 360 degree rotation of this figure. You can see that once again, similarly to vehicle mode, he is exactly the same figure as what we got with the original Earthrise release. However, in my opinion, this is definitely a more accurate Netflix appearance and this is more than likely going to be what we get when the show actually debuts hopefully sometime next year. You can see here that the colours are very similar to what we actually got for the Siege version of Optimus Prime and it would only make sense that these are the colours that would continue into his Earthrise form. One of the biggest changes that this figure actually has is that I believe the eyes have been painted so much better on this particular release. You can see that they actually stand out and really do look awesome. I love the lighter shade of blue that they have used. You can see that we have the silver there for the mouth guard as well as there for the crest and I think that the sculpt work for the helmet looks really awesome once again they have opted to go with a slightly more darker color scheme where the blue is concerned and then as we turn here to the lower torso you can see the greenish hue that we do have there for the front of Optimus Prime's chest in my opinion once again this is more Netflix accurate so if you are looking for a more Netflix accurate display this is definitely the Optimus Prime to add to the collection they have also opted this time around to go with some darker blue highlights for the actual shoulder joints and just the joints in general so you can see here for the shoulder joints they are a dark 
darker blue and here for the elbows and then also here for where the hips are concerned so I definitely do believe that that is a slight improvement over the original grey that we got on the previous release you can see that the smokestacks have been painted in a nice silver and all of the panel lining I think looks fantastic on this particular release they have also added an extra area of paint application to this whole region of Optimus so on the original Earthrise version this here was just a solid grey plastic they have actually gone the extra mile to paint this yellow which once again I think looks really really awesome as we turn here now down to the lower region of the figure this is where some of my gripes do lay with this figure initially when the promo images did begin to come out for this release it did show him having completely painted legs including the back however with the official release they have chosen to leave the entire back plates here just a plain silver which in my opinion is definitely going to be a major make or break for some collectors on whether or not they actually plan to pick this figure up I think that if they would have painted the back sections here of the legs it probably could have turned the tides on whether or not people do add this figure to the collection but nonetheless here from the front I do think that it looks quite nice we've got some nice silver highlights there for the shins and then finally no paint applications here for the bottom of the toes for articulation I'm not entirely sure whether or not it's because they have perhaps altered the mold slightly but it to me it definitely does appear as if though we can get a slightly greater range of motion out of that head joint it to me definitely appears as if though we can get a greater range of motion out of this particular Netflix version than what we could get out of the original version so the head can look up as well as down it can also nod side to side and rotate the full 360 full 360 rotation there at the arms as well as a hinge to the shoulders full 360 rotation at the bicep 90 degree bend there for the elbow full 360 rotation at the wrist the fingers can also hinge forwards and backwards which is fantastic rotation here at the waist the legs can kick forwards that far as well as back to about that far he can do the splits to a great degree full 360 rotation here at the thigh a well over 90 degree bend there on a single hinge for the knee and then finally turning here to the feet they can also pivot forwards and backwards so in terms of articulation I think that this figure here is absolutely flawless bringing in the original Earthrise release for a comparison you can see in what I was discussing earlier on in regards to the actual face sculpt I do think that the eyes or at least the paint applications that they have applied to this particular release for the eyes look so much nicer than what we got for this release it definitely did make Optimus look slightly dead or at least asleep when compared to this particular version so if there was a way to perhaps combine both of these I think that you could probably end up with the best version of this particular mold but nonetheless you can see the differences there in terms of the paint applications for the torso the major difference in terms of the yellow highlight here for the lower region of the figure and then as we take a look here down to the legs I do actually prefer the fact that they have painted at least the top section here than as opposed to the grey plastic that we got on the Earthrise release and then once again this version here is unfortunately missing the silver paint apps that we got with this version so both of them have positives and negatives I believe that it's probably just going to be up to your own personal preference on which colour scheme that you do prefer personally I do definitely prefer the more vibrant colour scheme that we get here with the original release however as stated previously if you want a more accurate Netflix looking display I definitely think that this particular version is going to be the way to go. Turning here to the one and only major feature that this figure actually possesses that is of course the opening chest in order to reveal the matrix of leadership. It's awesome to see that Hasbro didn't close this up in order to save cost. They did actually carry it over from the original leader class which is fantastic. So just to quickly show you you just want to open the chest and you can see that we have a fantastically detailed cavity in there and I think that the matrix of leadership looks awesome. Just bringing in for a comparison the original Earthrise Optimus Prime you can once again see the stark difference in terms of colour variation. The new Netflix version is once again a lot more darker in terms of its colour than as opposed to the more vibrant colour scheme that once again we got with this release. Something of which I do actually prefer on the original version is that they did indeed paint the back of the windows here silver which is unfortunately missing here on this particular Netflix figure. However, seeing as I'm probably only ever going to display this figure on the shelf with the chest closed, this really isn't a major drawback to me whatsoever. However, I'm pretty sure that it is something which could perhaps be a turn off to some collectors. So there is the comparison between the Matrix chambers. Very quickly showcasing you how Optimus Prime looks whilst holding some of the Battle Masters. I must say that I think that he looks absolutely terrific, especially here with Anorax. You can see here that the axe looks absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, these are likely to be accessories that we never actually see Optimus Prime wield on screen. However, I think that he looks tremendous here in a figure form. As I just bring in Sheldron, you can see that you're going to want to pull down on this tab. And you can see that I think that creates for a really awesome looking shield as stated in some of my previous videos where I have reviewed a Battle Master which is similar to this in terms of its design. I've always said that I love the look of these and to me it really does look as if though this is a holographic shield that has formed out of Optimus Prime's arm. I really just love the look of this very sci-fi futuristic in its design. I just love all of the sculpted and detailing there and I think the Optimus here looks fantastic with both the shield and the axe. You can for sure get this figure into some phenomenal poses and due to this being one of the most articulated 
rated Optimus Prime figures of all time, I'm pretty sure that you can have an absolute blast when posing this figure around. Whilst he is holding all of these accessories, there really isn't a place for you to actually peg the Ion Blaster onto. I guess you could peg it into this hand, however to me this just looks slightly overkill and probably isn't a weapon that Optimus would utilise whilst wielding the axe and the shield. So for me, I tend to just collapse this up and of course just tab this onto the back. In terms of some very quick size comparisons, just removing all of the accessories and straightening Prime out. I think that he looks super nice when on display here next to the Netflix Megatron as well as of course the Netflix Elite One and then just moving Megatron here out of the way and showing him off with potentially one of the best Netflix figures that we have ever gotten. Here we have the Earthrise Netflix Bumblebee and in all I think that this Netflix line for a subline for the War for Cybertron trilogy is actually really nice especially if you were unable to pick up some of the initial releases of each of these figures. I do know that the Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime was a figure that definitely became very difficult to actually track down so it's awesome to see that Hasbro are re-releasing it here this time without the trailer which may actually appeal to more people seeing as he is no longer priced at a leader class price point. I do believe that this figure here is about £10 or $10 cheaper than the regular leader so if you're not too fussed about the trailer and are still looking for the Earthrise rendition of Optimus Prime I definitely think that this figure here is going to be more than suffice for your collection. And so some final thoughts here for the Netflix Optimus Prime free pack. I actually really do like this set. As stated throughout this review this this was a figure that I really wasn't all that looking forward to, however he is definitely a really nice and pleasant surprise. I love the Battle Masters, of course I may be slightly biased just as I am a huge fan of the translucent plastic that Hasbro do appear to be implementing into their Battle Masters. I think that it creates for an awesome look and is definitely very stylistic as well as futuristic and it's definitely something that I can see appearing on Cybertron. I think that his axe is awesome and this particular figure just looks awesome whilst wielding a yellow slash orange axe. But the main figure himself, whilst there may be no differences in terms of the actual mould, I think that some of the paint applications have actually come out really nicely, especially where the head and the lower torso are concerned. I love the look of this particular Optimus Prime's eyes, leaps and bounds better than what we got on the original Earthrise Prime, and I really do love the extra layer of yellow paint application that we also do have here for this particular detail. Where this figure does fall slightly short though is in terms of a comparison between the final release and of course the promotional images. I really do wish that Hasbro had gone the extra mile to actually paint the back of Optimus Prime's legs, as from this perspective it definitely does look slightly odd and if they would have painted this I could for sure see many collectors picking this up. Of course I really don't believe this is going to appeal to everyone similarly to some of the previously released Netflix repaints however if you are after a more Netflix accurate look for Optimus Prime I definitely think that you're going to get that here with this particular release as he shares a very similar colour palette to the actual design that we saw in the Siege Netflix so in terms of Earthrise I do believe that this is going to be the look that we do also get. So to conclude this review if you are able to find this figure and you don't own the original Earthrise Optimus Prime or are finding it incredibly difficult to actually track it down, I do definitely recommend this particular release. As stated before, it is a fantastic mould and the paint applications that have actually been applied to this release are not bad whatsoever. And you can see here that he looks fantastic when paired next to some of our other Wave 2 Netflix Autobots, that being Bumblebee and Alita 1. I really do hope that you enjoyed my review. If you did, please do let me know down in the comments section below. Also, be sure to let me know whether or not this is a figure that you will be adding to the collection and whether or not you actually do own the original Earthrise Optimus Prime and believe this figure here to be an improvement or a downgrade. I thank you all for watching my review and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.